And staying in Maryland, a woman was hospitalized after a tree crushed her home in Laurel. It's one of many issues people in Prince George's County are dealing with from the weather. Here's our Yama Risa say. This tree caused a lot of damage here at this Laurel home. As you can see on this side of the house, part of the roof is completely collapsed and neighbors tell me they're just happy that the person injured is safe. I'm praying for them. I know it's tough times now and I was just shocked. I was in shock when I saw the tree fall. I was just amazed by seeing the damage on that house and we were just wondering, hopefully the people inside our neighbors are, are fine. That was nearby neighbors reaction when they saw the damage on their way home. I knew the wind was blowing. I didn't know it had blown that hard. According to Prince George's County Fire Department, around 11 Friday morning, they responded to a collapse investigation. A woman was taken to the hospital with serious injuries, but she's expected to survive. Sad to have this happen at any time, but especially at this time, um, you know, going to displace the people in the house because it doesn't look like you can live in the house. So, yeah, it's just very sad and hopefully that they are, are fine and we'll definitely pray for them. Just 10 minutes away, traffic was backed up near Van Dessen Road. Laurel police say they had to close down the road after a dump truck hit power lines. And in Bowie, nearly 700 people are without power tonight. The city opened up their gymnasium as a warming center until 10 o'clock. And they're working with BGE to find out how long it's going to take to restore power. As for other people in the county, they're just trying to figure out how to stay warm. Well, having all my blankets and my pillows next to me, maybe a teddy bear or two, um, some hot cocoa and just try to stay indoors as possible. Reporting in Prince George's County, Maryland, I'm Yamarisa Say, DC News Now.